Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato and today's Everything Music. It's What Makes This Song Great, episode 58. The band is The Doors and the song is... The song we're talking about today is Touch Me, which was from the Soft Parade record released in 1968. The song was written by Robbie Krieger and produced by Paul Rothschild. Now, I love this song because it's probably the weirdest Doors song, and they have a lot of really weird songs. It's weird because, on one hand, it's got this classic Doors rhythm, do 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 but it's got a really strange vocal performance that, honestly, only Jim Morrison could pull off. It has this kind of Frank Sinatra-esque quality to it, but... It's got great chord changes, an incredible orchestral arrangement, and it has a great sax solo at the end, really kind of a jazz sax solo. So let's check out the top of the tune. Okay, the first thing you're going to notice about this is the weird panning, okay? So we have this that kind of old school stereo panning with the drums and bass in the left speaker and the keyboards and guitar in the right speaker. The, the vocals up the center and the orchestral part is going to be up the center in stereo in both speakers. Now, let's talk about the individual parts that are going on. The guitar part is just based on one chord. It's really a minor six chord. You don't even notice it when it's going on. It, the guitar is, is, is really odd, right? Check it out. It's a minor six. So it'd be like A minor six. So it's really like an A Dorian thing, but the keys are climbing each time. Listen with the guitar. If you're wondering what kind of a guitar sound that is, that's what a guitar sounds like when it's plugged directly into the console with, with no amplifier. In the mix, it sounds great. Let me play the drum and bass here in the beginning. That's, of course, John Densmore on the drums and Harvey Brooks, who's a session player, playing the bass. The bass sounds like it's played through a B-15 because it's real muddy and thumpy, kind of like a Motown bass would be. Next, we have the vocals entering in the verse. Check it out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, now touch me, baby. Can you see? Let's solo the vocals. Check it out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, now touch me, baby. Can't you see that I am not afraid? What was that promise that you made? Who sings like that? I mean, that is so great. It's kind of hilarious and completely weird, kind of Vegasy. but I mean, he was only in his mid-20s when he did that. But it, yet it is so cool. No one today could ever pull off something like that. No 25-year-old could pull something like that off. I mean, this is really, really strange, but so cool. Now, right in the beginning of the verse, we get this orchestral arrangement happening. Check it out. Can you see that I I'm going to solo that for you. I want to play the really a lot of this this arrangement by uh, Paul Harris. It's really a, a tremendously great arrangement. Check it out. Let's check out the orchestra along with the vocal melody. Come on, come on, come on, come on, now touch me, baby. Can't you see that I am not afraid? What was that promise that you made? Why won't you tell me what she said? What was that promise that you made? 
No. The orchestra really needs the drums to key off of because there's a lot of starts that happen after the downbeat. There's also a feel change that happens in the drums in the middle of the verse because you have your one feel, da 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 and then it changes feels. Let's check it out. Da -do, da -do, da -do, da -do. Now we're back to the original. Also in the verse, we have the organ, which is a Gibson G101 and harpsichord. Let's check it out. Next, let's check out the guitar in the verse. Really, really great progression. So G, B minor. C, E flat, E flat, D minor, E flat, G flat, D flat. This is great. A lot of these third modulations, G, B minor, then we have a minor third up, and minor third up. So the, a lot of third related modulations. And then in the chorus we have this on the guitar. No, I'm gonna love you till the heavens stop the rain. I'm gonna love you till the stars fall from the sky for you and I. Next, let's look at the chorus melody with the orchestral backing part which is amazing check it out no i'm gonna love you till the heavens stop the rain i'm gonna love you till the stars fall from the sky for you and i so after this chorus we're back to the a minor vamp let's check it out Little harpsichord. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Verse two. Can you see that I am afraid? Drums change a little bit here. It's really kind of like a heavy rock vibe right there in the drums. I love those guitar fills like that. Promise that you may. And we're the same chorus. Uh, Next, we hit my favorite part of the tune, the breakdown chorus. This is just unreal. Let's check it out. I'm gonna love you till the heavens stop the rain. I'm gonna love, love it. you till the stars open and the sky. Let's check out the orchestra by itself. Really 
really incredibly good writing. It's just just the lines. You know, there's tempo changes because it's all played together. Anybody that tells you that there's no difference between real orchestral instruments and ones in the box have never played in, in an orchestra. Just listen to that. Now, there's some pitch discrepancies and things like that. But the, the, the way that the tempo breathes is amazing. If we just put the vocals and the orchestra together, check it out. I'm gonna love you Till the heavens stop the rain I'm gonna love you Till the stars fall from the sky Oh, you and I Then we're on the vamp. Woo! Here we go. <laughs> Stronger than dirt. That is from an Ajax commercial from the 60s. Ajax laundry detergent is stronger than dirt. We always used to joke about that. The stronger than dirt. Anytime you hear anyone go dun 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 dun. Here's a voice by itself. Stronger than dirt. Uh, that is Curtis Amy on the saxophone. That's a great example of a jazz style Dorian vamp at the end of a rock song right there. Especially when the saxophone hits those high altissimo notes. It sounds super powerful. That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel if you're interested in the Beato book. <laughs>